record videos with you. <laughs> oh my god. I thought this one would be cute to film with you. We're gonna mm -hmm. fill the kids' stockings. And then you have to go away. Oh. <laughs> Wait, do you want to fill your stocking? Doesn't matter to me, but. You know, it's cuter to have a surprise. Okay. Alright, so we gotta film an intro. Da da da! <sighs> hello! Hello! Oh my god, I can't even say a normal hello. Breathe! I'm just trying to say a normal hello. <laughs> then just say hello. Hello! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, welcome to our channel. Uh, this is Cheyenne and the Fam Jam. Woo! This is Matt. Ha! <laughs> He's the kid's dad's, um... Dad's plural? Well, you know, dad's because you wear many hats. Stepdad, biological dad. dad yeah, that's dad. still just one hat. And a Santa hat. Well, that is a second hat, yes. <laughs> Today we're going to be um, filling the kids' stockings. This is Matt's stocking, and this is my stocking. They're down here because they're going to get filled with some of the basic chocolate that are going into the kids' stockings. Um, just as filler, I have special things to put into his stocking that he is not supposed to see, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so this has been my stocking since I was first born. Um, I'm passing it down to William this year because with um, the pandemic going on, uh, I wasn't able to go to Value Village to find another stuffed animal teddy bear head um, stocking. So I just bought myself a sparkly stocking this year instead and um, gave William a teddy bear head stocking because this is Lucas's. I found it at Value Village the year he was born and that's what he's been having so I want the kids to have a fun teddy bear stocking um, and then Matt gets his Cad Pat camo stocking um, it just says our last name up at the top it has um, two patches on it one that says look at my horse my horse is amazing with a little derpy horse and um, it is a derpy horse Rude. No, but it's not the actual horse for the Remy. No. It's just a derp horse. <laughs> and then, um, Operation Enduring Cluster. And I can't say the last word. And then it just says COVID-19. And it's a COVID-19 patch. It's actually pretty cool. So. Um, I don't think because of the swear you can actually show that, hun. Oh. Uh. Bamajama. Alright, so the first thing we have for the stockings are these little um, balls with, they're like snow globe balls, so they've got like a teddy bear and a snowman. Lucas really likes snowmen, so he'll get that one, and William will get the teddy bear. Those will go straight into the end of the stocking. Bath and then, crowns. <laughs> and then we got some bath crowns from Crayola and color bath drops. Uh, seeing how Lucas is able to color, he'll get the crowns, and William really likes colored baths, so he'll get the bath drops. Uh, next up for the boys, Lucas will be getting some little slippers. They're nice and fuzzy, and William will be getting this little play phone from um, Fisher Price, it's got like a little fake, what is that? Pop socket? It's got a little fake pop socket on the back and it's got like some nice like beads in there. Should be fun for him. He likes stealing phones. And then throwing them and dropping them. <laughs> You're giving me more cars here that I can show to a camera. All right, all right, so. Up we got here, a few different cars for the boys. Coming up next. This is a Cars car. Yeah, Cars car here, number 19. No idea. It's just a purple car. Purple car. That one will go to William. Little super neon yellow 
monster truck with some horns. Make sure you show the camera. You mean the unfocused camera? It's focused. Not when I move Fiona close. That one's it. going to Lucas. And then a Lightning McQueen car. This will also go to Lucas because he loves Lightning McQueen. Actually, the monster truck is going to uh, William. The Yeah, and the McQueen car is going to Lucas. And then the last ones are a little Hot Wheel and a little tow truck. Lucas picked out the tow truck at the store. And this one's kind of special. This one's going to William. Ah, oh, a little Fred Flintstone mobile. Yeah, I thought that one was kind of fun. Yabba dabba doo. <laughs> oh, jeez, honey, you're so cheesy. Um, both of the boys got this. It's a shaker egg. Um, so it's a musical instrument toy, but our children are obsessed with eggs, hey? Yeah. Yeah, they love their eggs and... Yeah, they really but do. But they also love noise to the uh, downfall of our ears. <laughs> that one's actually going to Lucas because Williams is in the car. We needed to entertain him when we bought these stocking stuffers, so we kind of just temporarily hey. gave it to there him. There you go, distraction. Exactly. Uh, next up are these Dairy Milk Snowmen Marshmallows. Got one for each of the boys. And then we got some Kinder Surprise eggs. We got one for each of the boys. So they got the Kinder Surprise eggs. One. If you if you live in America, unfortunately you won't be able to get those because they're illegal for you guys. So they're perfectly legal here in Canada. They just have a toy in the center. They're actually kind of really fun. Um, and then... Oh, next up we have some books. So I wanted to give some books for um, Christmas. For William, he got this Peekaboo Flat Moo because I am obsessed with cows. <laughs> um, so he got this farm book and it's got the little flaps that open and it shows you all the little different like farm animals and stuff like that and it's cardboard. So it should be more durable for him. Next up, Space Cows. Yeah, we got that one for Lucas because he is obsessed with space. And I am obsessed with cows. So it seems like a match made in heaven. You ever feel like you're trying to throw your influences on your children? Every day. But it works. Okay, now, you're going to have to explain to me and to the audience how you're going to fit this book into that stocking. Yeah, because this one was supposed to go to Lucas. I will magically not. I don't know. We'll see. This one is actually really fun. It's got like all these like snowflakes that move around and kind of make it look like a, a little snow globe in a way. So it's just this gel that goes and has these snowflakes. It's so cool. Um, but it's a Christmas themed book that I thought we could read. And I will somehow, some way, Get this in here. It's going to Lucas. Because <laughs> his other book was kind of small. <sighs> See if it. I am not helping you get that out. And last but not least for the kids. It's a bag of stocking stuffers from um, like Reese's Pieces and Kisses. Um, the bag is broken into because me and Matt have already eaten some. Excuse me, me and Matt? You have eaten one of these and I know it because I threw it at you so I would feel less guilty about eating one. It's nice that you admit <laughs> the reasoning behind it. <laughs> so these candies will be going in all of our stockings. So I'm going to just shove some in Matt's. Do you want to shove a few in the kids? Do, 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 do. Make sure we get a little mix of each. Yeah, I don't know if I can get things into Lucas's very easily here. <laughs> Put it in my stocking. Alrighty. 
Next up, just for the adults, so the kids are now done. Um, they won't be getting any more candy because they will eat all of their candy on Christmas if they see it. So Which we will stop them. We want to limit the amount of candy they're intaking, so their stockings are done. Um, left are just our stockings. My stocking probably won't be complete. Um, I got each of us a Toblerone. It's just the milk chocolate one. Pretty much takes up Matt's entire stocking. Uh, next up for me is this. Milk frother. You know, I show it again. So it's a milk frother. I drink a lot of tea lattes, so instead of using the blender every time, I thought that might be better. Matt is obsessed with cookies and cream Hershey bars, so he gets one of those. And then everything else in this bag is somehow supposed to fit in this stocking. Ever, I, I think you bought more than what you thought you had the size to stuff in. Yeah. Do you want to see your stockings? No. Do you want to get out of here then? All right. Just like the kids, he will be getting one of these Dairy Milk Snowman Marshmallows. I personally didn't get one, but I miscounted. That's my bad. Um, up next is this. I think it's hilarious. Uh, I think you'll get a real kick out of it. One of them is, how do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> So, <laughs> that is hilarious. He'll get a kick out of that. I also got him some of these. They looked pretty good. And the last thing to go in his stocking, to go with his Cad Pat stocking, is this. So, it kind of looks like TNT, and it's hilarious and it's a bunch of different little um, hot sauces. So, it's even got like the, um, isn't that cool? So I don't know how that's gonna fit in here, but we'll see, maybe if I open this up and just don't give them a box of this, right? Yeah, so if I open this up and I take the candies out of here and just put them in, That is definitely not going to fit in the stocking, so I'm going to have to just put it outside of the stocking when I lay the stocking on the ground on when we do Christmas. So then I'll just put the Toblerone back in the top, that'll stick out the top, and that is his stocking done. So that's our four different stockings. Um, Mine's not technically complete. I know that Matt said he wants to go and get um, a few things that I don't know about for my stocking, but... Alright, and so we have two cats and one doggo. They are our fur kids. And so Annie has this stocking. It says, good doggy. And the cats have these little mermaid tail stockings, but in our case, they are fish tail stockings. So we have a red one and a green one. But the really cool thing about these is you could change their color on a whim. We just chose to keep it separate. So we should start with Annie first because there's only one doggo. We got her one of these open range, um, they're called chompers. They're stuffed little meat sticks. So she got one of those, which she'll be really happy about. She hasn't had one in a while. Uh, recently she got to try an antler, and she really liked that. So she hasn't had one of these in, I want to say, like, three months. So she'll be pretty excited for that. Um, next up for Annie is this cute little Kong moose. And the... <laughs> has a really... Um, unique squeaker. Um, we should actually take tag off so she can just play with it right away. 
And then Lucas picked this out for Annie, actually. Whoa. Wow. That's a loud squeaker. He wanted to get her a donut. So he picked this one out for Annie. So that is all of Annie's stocking. Actually, I wonder if we can put the donut down a little further so that the moose can come out, hey? That's cute. We'll leave it like that for Annie. Then we have two cats. So they kind of got spilled a little bit more because um, there's two of them. And only one Annie. And Annie gets spoiled all the time. She's a princess. So, this is all from the company um, Yao. They're actually a pretty expensive um, cat toy company. And you, you wouldn't think cat toys could be expensive, but they, they can be, uh, apparently. So, we got them this catnip tree, catnip candy cane, catnip banana, and it came with a little sample bag of catnip. So this is just by the company Kong. It's a little Wrangler. They're gonna go nuts for this. Annie actually kills their toys that sound like this. So we're gonna have to keep it away from her. It's got the feather, the squeak, and the crinkle so it's so many things that they love in one next is this which they've already been playing with but it was bought for their stocking Lucas loves to play with them they've already killed the string so it's been tied multiple times back together um, but it's just a little animal on a string and that's all of it so, if we hang the little candy cane out the stocking, and then we put in the little toy, and let's say this one into this stocking, and then this stocking, you can put the squeaky, that one, and the tree. It doesn't really matter because, again, they will both enjoy all of the toys. As is, I have Simba staring me down right now, saying, Mom, give me those toys. But, no. <laughs> Not today. So, these are the fur kids' stockings, all ready for Christmas. All right, fine, now I am Satan. Bully, Santa, bully. You are Satan? Satan? I love Santa it. Mat. Santa Matt. Come here, Santa baby. All right, so that is our stockings for Christmas. We will actually be celebrating Christmas on the 24th this year. Maybe, I can't remember. Yeah, this year we're celebrating Christmas on the 24th um, because Lucas actually has to go to his biological dad's house um, for Christmas Day and he's picking him up at 10 a.m. on Christmas Day so we won't really have time to have like a special Christmas have him like unwrap his toys and then get the chance to play with the toys like he would be really upset if he got all these really cool um, space toys and <laughs> wasn't able to play with them Mm -hmm. He'd really want to take them to uh, his dad's house and um, that, you know, wouldn't be that great because he's about to open a bunch of gifts there too, right? Um, so we contacted Santa and we asked him to come a night early and apparently Santa does that for split households and it's really magical and we're really grateful that Santa will do that for us. Um, yeah, Santa was awesome that way. Yeah, Santa is awesome that way. So, um, our Christmas will be celebrated on the 24th. And then on Christmas Day, we're just going to go see my mom and hang out with her for the day. Mm -hmm. But it should be really special and a lot of fun for the kids to wake up. Because they, they're, they're really young still. They don't even know that it's um, 
Christmas Day versus Christmas Eve, right? Mm -hmm. But we'll make it no, really special. No, it's just another day to them, but yeah, we'll make it as special as we can. Yeah, so they won't know. And Lucas will just get lots of Christmas, right? Mm hmm And we'll do special stuff with William just on the 25th because, you know, Lucas gets extra special stuff happening, so... Maybe we'll save him, like, one gift or something like that to open up at my mom's. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that way he has, like, a special little Christmas, because Lucas gets to open up Christmas gifts twice. Mm -hmm. So William should be allowed to. Yeah, well, don't forget, we'll also have all the gifts coming in from my family. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, your, your gifts no, are... Being... Knowing, knowing my aunt, she will spoil those kids. <laughs> yeah, and they're they're delivering those gifts to our doorstep on uh, Wednesday, so mm -hmm. it will come just in time for us to celebrate our Christmas. Um, unfortunately, we're like we can't celebrate no Christmas how we normally would. Yeah, so um, normally we would celebrate Christmas at his family's house. We go on the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth, and on the twenty fourth is more like um, more dinner and yeah, open gifts. Yeah, it's, it's a dinner. And Christmas Day is usually just kind of a chance to just relax, hang out, chat, have yeah. a good meal. And they make this really yummy dish called like wheat. And it's like cracked wheat and you like put like honey on top. It's apparently a Ukrainian dish. Mm -hmm. But it's so healthy and it's so yummy. And um, I kind of asked his aunt if she would deliver some, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. She might just deliver the recipe. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, so that's um, all we have for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we're putting into our kids' stockings. And we will be uh, setting everything up on the 24th. Well, we'll set it up on the 23rd. Uh, we will record that and then stick that in our Christmas Day video. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Alright, so... We hope you have a great day. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. We're doing this for fun. And we'll see you in our next video. See you then. That button right down there. Subscribe. Right well, there. Well, it depends if they're on their phone, honey. And that button over there that says like? Yeah, that one do. Wherever it says subscribe. <laughs> somewhere it's down here. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, what did you do to our cat? Give him Santa hat. He did this to our cat. Our cat is under here. <laughs> Poor Jinx. Oh, he looks dashing. It's like a family tree.